All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to create some more uh, bonus features in our Adventures of Mario game to make it a little bit more realistic. In one of my videos, I talked about vertical barriers. So those were barriers to stop Mario from jumping through the bottom of a platform. In this video, we're going to talk about horizontal barriers. That's going to stop Mario from being able to walk off the screen in either the left or the right direction. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Uh, for this is actually going to be pretty easy because we're unlike the vertical barriers, we're not concerned with gravity. When we were talking about vertical barriers, we had to make Mario essentially stop his position and make him fall. For a horizontal barrier, all we're trying to do is make Mario not be able to move left or right, which is uh, a much simpler thing to do based on how this game is coded. Now, you could in theory place this uh, code anywhere in a looping function, so whether it's in draw or level one or level two, I'm actually gonna place it in gravity because if I put it in level one or level two, I'd have to put it in both for this to take effect on both programs. Um, so I'm gonna scroll down to our gravity function. And even though this technically isn't necessarily part of gravity, uh, we're gonna use it here because gravity happens in both level one and level two. So it should apply this to both. So here's our function gravity. I'm just gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom of gravity make a little new subsection with a comment saying horizontal horizontal barriers left and right walls. All right, so there's gonna be two quick if statements. If, uh, let's start with the left wall, or let's start with the right wall, just because where Mario starts in the program and where Goombas are. So if P1X is greater than or equal to uh, width, Right, so the right wall over here, the x position of the right wall is the width of the screen. The x position of the left wall is zero because our origin is in the top left corner. So if P1x is greater than or equal to right wall, this means we've exceeded right wall of screen. Well, then we want Mario to not be able to continue walking. So let's just, for example, what happens if we just say P1x equals width? So that's going to put Mario at the width of the screen. Let's go ahead and close this if statement. Oops, wrong bracket. Close at width. Let's press play. See how that works out. That seems to be working just fine. Now, Mario can go a little bit off the screen, right? So we said P1X. P1X is in relationship to the center of Mario. If we wanted it to be, say, the front of Mario, oops, ran out of time there, we could say P1X plus P width divided by two. So that's half of Mario's total width. So that's gonna put us at the front of Mario rather than all of him. But notice that our offset is now stuck too. So now that we did that, Mario is stuck at the wall's position. So instead of saying that, instead of saying Mario equals the width, like he's stuck here, what if we push Mario backwards? So P1X equals P1X minus, say five. Let's see what that does. That looks much better. So now if Mario tries to run into the wall, he's kind of pushed backwards a little bit. So that's working great for our right wall. Let's copy this guy right here, this whole little if statement. And let's just do some minor changes. So instead of saying exceed right wall, let's say exceed left wall. Uh, P1X minus P width, right? So that's gonna be the back of Mario if we say minus P width and it would be less than or equal to zero because that's the position of the less wall. So it's P1X minus P width divided by two is less than or equal to zero. Then P1X equals P1X plus five. Close at uh, zero instead of at width. Let's give that a shot. I'm gonna have to navigate past our Goombas to test this guy out. Let's get it on top of here. There we go. Even works when Mario has his power up. Fabulous. Oh no, missed it. That's how you do horizontal barriers. As I mentioned, a little bit easier than vertical barriers just because we're not dealing with gravity and because there's only two horizontal barriers we have to work on. In theory, uh, in our platform program, when we talked about vertical barriers, we only coded it for the bottom of the barrier. We did not code it for the side. So for example, if I run off the side here, it still pushes Mario to the top. You could use this, and instead of saying width or zero, you could talk about the B1X position and make 
horizontal barriers for all of your platforms, or let's say, for example, you want to put a wall right in the middle of your program here, you would just have to know what the X position is, and again, make Mario, if he runs into that wall, push backwards.